Welcome back. Taking a look at the Great Falls Clinic ICANN, we are seeing some mostly cloudy skies tonight. Your highs today were around 73 degrees, which is right around average for this time of year. Your lows are going to be slightly above average at around 47 degrees tonight. In that Helena Opportunity Bank of Montana weather cam, we are again seeing some cloudy skies. Um, your highs were around 76 degrees, which is, again, right around average for this time of year. And these fall-like temperatures are going to continue as we head throughout the next couple of days through this week. Rain is going to be likely for the beginning half of this work week through the middle. Starting tonight, we're seeing some of those isolated showers over in western Montana. Those winds are going to lighten up tonight, begin to lighten up tonight slowly as we head into Monday afternoon, where they will be lighter than what we are seeing right now. But taking a look at your Doppler radar, again, there's some scattered showers moving across mostly the western portion of the state, but uh, this moisture will continue to increase as we head throughout the next couple of days. Smoke-wise, we are seeing some better conditions. Most of the smoke is from California, and it's moving up into the states, but it's going to remain on the lighter side, and we're actually seeing some really good um, air quality conditions other than Helena and Hamilton where there's some moderate air quality over there but again for the most part we are seeing some good air quality and so that will continue for the next couple of days along with these temperatures that are staying nice and mild as opposed to hot. Their high temperatures today were in the 60s and 70s, but over on the eastern portion of the state we saw those temperatures into the upper 80s and even the 90s for some areas so pretty hot and warm over there but but you can expect that it'll be cool tonight into the 40s and the 50s. Mostly cloudy chances of rain over along the Rocky Mountain front um, tonight as well. But you can expect that that sun will come out once again, mostly sunny with some chances of rain tomorrow into the 70s and the 80s for your temperatures. Warmer over in the eastern portion of the state, a little bit mild over west of the I-15 corridor. And you can also expect that these temperatures are going to cool down a bit because of your upper level patterns. This low that is off into the Pacific Northwest, um, kind of by California right now, will push east a little bit more. And we also have another low pressure system moving from um, the Pacific and up in Canada. Canada. It'll continue to push down and kind of do a little dance with this low over here, um, which will cause some troughing and just cause some overall increased moisture, some increased winds, and even some of those cooler temperatures. Now we're also going to see um, most of these showers continuing to push in, increasing as we head throughout the next couple of days. Um, it's along with that cloud cover. Now these are going to also produce some chances of some thunderstorms, um, but this will increase becoming a little bit more widespread as we head to Tuesday to Wednesday. So you can just expect some daily chances of these showers. And this is a look at your wind gust tracker. As we head throughout Monday afternoon, most of these winds will calm down. So we'll have a lighter period Monday to Tuesday.